Namaste. Welcome, gentlemen. It's Anita Tadavarthi, your acupuncturist friend. I know so many of you are struggling with impotence, and I know it's frustrating. It's frustrating to not be able to maintain or even achieve an erection. I know how it can hit you, and it can also impede certain relationships. So I want to share with you a simple food that I have seen work really well for men who are struggling with impotence. And I can share with you my own clinical findings from my own empirical evidence from what I saw in the clinic. I have about 100,000 patient visits underneath my belt. And a lot of men have confided in me with their struggles. And what I would say to you is one thing, if you haven't tried it already, is incorporating beets into your diet. I know a lot of you may say, gross, beets, but I actually drink beet juice a couple times a week and it tastes amazing. And so how you can prepare the beets is you can juice a beet, you can eat a beet raw, you can put it into a salad, you can put it into your curries, you can include it in your smoothies. What I want you to try to do as you are experiencing impotence is to include beets throughout the day. And so why does beets work to help you along the way with impotence? Well, beets have an incredible amount of nitrates and nitrics will help the nitric oxide in your body, which will help the blood flow in your body, which will help the blood pressure in your body. How does that relate back to you? Well, you're gonna feel more energized. You're not gonna feel as fatigued. And in addition to that, you're gonna have more control. You're gonna have more control over the erection, sustaining it and maintaining it and achieving it. And that's what you're seeking. So what I would recommend for you is that two things. If you are struggling with impotence, then one thing you can do is immediately start incorporating beets into your daily diet at least try to incorporate beets a couple of times a day. And the simplest way that you can incorporate it is drinking it as a juice. You'll actually enjoy it. And what I would say is that if you can't do it a couple times a day, at least try to do it once a day. It's only going to help you. And I want you to do this until you feel that you are comfortable with your erection. And once you feel that you are comfortable with your erection, then I want you to continue to do it for a few more weeks till you know you really don't need to load up on beets as much as you need to. But beets regardless are a great addition to your diet because they help you with blood flow and they also help you with heart health. So if I can ask you to do that, another way that you can use beets is let's say that you want to rendezvous with your partner on um, the next day. You can actually use beets to load up throughout the day and even the next day. And you can even drink beet juice an hour before you need to perform. It will help you. So consider the different ways that you can incorporate beets into your diet, whether it's juicing, whether it's smoothies, whether it's eating it in salads or raw or with curries, and include them at least once a day, if not three times a day, till you feel comfortable with your erection. And if you have an event that you have planned with your partner, then consider loading it up the day or two before and consider drinking beet juice an hour before you need to perform. It will help you along the way. And of course, please, please work with your doctor because they have a preview over your overall health as I do not. And I wish you all the best incorporating this food so that you have that confidence in the bedroom. From your acupuncturist, acupressurist friend, Anita Tadavark. We would like to thank Anita's friends and business contacts who donated their time, money, and medical supplies to the Rapely Free Clinic. We're here in my grandfather's um, marriage hall, which has now been converted into our clinic or free hospital. Um, we have been here for four months, and we have treated about 1,000 patients with over eight or 9,000 patient visits. Most of the patients are farmers and agricultural workers, so a lot of the things that they're dealing with is uh, pains, lots of different types of